So, I just want to make a quick video, you know, of what this program does to you and why you have to fight back. Because, you know, like, if you go watch another T.I.'s video, whatever you want to call him, a victim of this program, Richard Moore, uh, what he says makes a lot of sense. Um, that the part, the point of the program is that it's death by a thousand cuts. You know, they send people in and out of your life that are cool with you, and then they turn against you. And they do it over and over and over and over. And they're low down, man. They will do it for favors, for whatever. They don't care. They don't care whether you live. They don't care whether you die. They don't care about you or your livelihood or your life. These people, these perpetrators, they do not care if how you feel. They don't care if you self-implode and harm yourself or somebody. They don't care. They think that shit's funny. That they think that shit's cute. That's why I'm I'm trying to drill in into you guys that 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 watch my uh, videos. I you know I want to help who's ever watching. Um, Y'all have to learn. to get thicker skin and I've dealt I've dealt with, with not having thick thick skin at times but because of the shit I've been through in in the past uh, and y'all have heard my, my story um, I'm starting to, to realize now that if I hadn't have been through that shit I wouldn't have been able to deal with none of this shit none of this crap that, that to do with man don't hit do get they'll grant people you know favors uh, just just to just to to terrorize you and turn on you and if you go out and kill somebody or yourself they think that shit's cute that it's funny they do not care I'm telling you that's why y'all can't give up the fight and let them win and go off and do something crazy like that because that's what these people want. They, they're they heartless. And y'all going to have to learn. To be the same way. Um, and I'm not saying to the extent of them. You know. You know of course don't go out and break the damn law. But. <clears throat> Man, these people, I'm telling you, man, they take joy in doing this shit. They take pleasure in it. Um, they don't care about you. They don't care to know you. They see you how they've been told to, to see you. Uh, they believe what they've been told to believe about you so they can toy with you and screw with you because they get off on it. I'm telling you guys. And they're going to keep doing it. They're going to keep sending people in, in to do that. And sometimes I'm slow. It's like a, it's like I know I'm smart. I can be smart. But I'm slow at, at figuring shit out, man. I, I can be like that. <laughs> um, because there's part of me that still wants to be nice and help people. And try not to judge people and please people and all that. But I got to get over that. And this program is showing me that a lot. Now, what they do to me, it don't break my heart. It don't. Because of the, the shit I've been through. And, um, you know, shit, shit I've, been, I've been through growing up. You know, being bullied and shit. I'm used to it. I dealt with, with, with this shit ever since I was a kid, man. <laughs> and I wouldn't doubt if that's part of it. I, I, I truly believe that. Um... But now I realize if none of that wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't have made me who I am today. Because there's some things in life that, that's going to happen to us. We're just going to have to learn how to use it positively. And use that as our victory and not as our crutch or making us a victim. But use our past as victory um, 
because these, I'm telling you, man, these people do not care about you, period, at all. And I don't know how much I can tell you. They don't care whether you live, whether you die. They won't think twice about doing it to you themselves if they have to. I'm pretty sure they prefer to do it uh, the way the program is set up for, for them to do it because they think it's a legal way of taking someone out without uh, having to do it and that it can't be proven. That's the point of the, the program, whether anybody believes it or not. I'm sure a lot of us know know these things I'm telling you, but I'm just trying to help. Um, and see, I zone out, man. You know, that's why I be bl blinking out sometimes. Um, that's why it's hard for me to pick shit up sometimes, man. Not fast enough, but uh. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to be a, a broken record here and tell you that that's why I'm trying to instill this in you guys that are watching. They do not care about you, period. But now, if none of the tactics work, I'm pretty sure they don't have an issue taking you out themselves either. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would, would, would rather you do it so it, they can make it look like uh, that dude's crazy. Or, I don't know wh what was wrong with him. He was crazy. But we know, because we're the victims going through it, the truth. Um, but like I said, if they have to end up doing it, they will not care about doing it. So why should we care? You see what I'm saying? They will not hesitate to destroy your life in any way they can. They do not care. There is no hesitation about it. So that's why I try to tell you to fight. To fight. Fight them back. You know? And just be aware of that it's not going to stop. They're not going to stop giving you a thousand paper cuts. They're not going to stop. Um, and those that are participating in it, whether they're family, friends or not, they don't care about you or your life or your live livelihood because if they did, they would understand you. They would have understood you and they wouldn't be participating in this. They would fight for you and stand up for you. But if they're not, then that shows who they really are. Um, and they should know you well enough over these people to know who you really are. But obviously, they don't. And that shows. And see, they try to use your family and friends against you thinking that they're going to get what they want. That they're going to, it, it's going to be a lot quicker way, easier way to do what what they want to do to you. Uh, and for some people, it might be the most effective way, you know, getting your own family to turn against you. Uh, those can be big pa paper cuts. But the thing about it. They're not your, your family if they're going along with it. Because if they're going to believe somebody over you, regardless of why they do it, if it's because that person has a badge, okay, and fuck him, and fuck his badge. What the fuck does that mean? They're violating the Constitution, so obviously they don't care about your rights or about you to begin with or your life. So if they don't care about me, then I don't care about them. You see what I'm saying? Y'all have to be like them back to them. Because they don't care what, what they're doing to you. They don't care about your damn rights. They don't care about your life. So don't care about them, their lives, or their rights. You see what I'm saying? 
because they won't hesitate to do it to you. So don't hesitate to, to, to fight back, to take them to fucking court, you know? Now, don't go out and harm nobody and break the law, but fight back. There are ways to fight back. That's why I'm telling y'all this. And this is why I keep making these damn videos, man, because they want to threaten me and harass me and turn people against me or and and, and go on Facebook and make up these fake-ass fucking pages and, and, and go into groups under these fake names and, and make posts under these fake names and friend me on Facebook to spy on me and go rat on me or show people about me and, and use these fake names and pages to harass me and change up my algorithm to put that that shit on my timeline and and they have and they have no problem doing it and have no problem smearing my name turning people against me um i have no problem fighting back i have no problem to keep speaking up i have no problem doing it they don't have a problem doing it to me so i don't have a problem doing it to them um and y'all got to be careful in these damn Facebook groups. There's too many negative-ass people in there. Man, too many negative Nancys and negative people that get mad when you comment and try to help them and give them advice. You're a, perp you're a perpetrator. You're this. You're that. You're a... Uh... Y'all can't be victims in this, this program. Man, you will never get anywhere by, by not taking action on this. By not doing nothing about it. You're going to stay doing it. And the, the thing about it is, even if nothing changes at, at the exact moment that you start exposing it, and they keep doing it, um, at least you're exposing it. Because if something happens to you, and they do do something to you, it will expose it will help to fight it will help to expose it i promise you they might try to lie and gaslight you and everything thing you do ain't working ain't nobody gonna listen take take this video down say all kind of crazy ass shit but trust me it will because if you end up on the damn news people gonna people will investigate it people are gonna be interested in shit on, on the news they do it all, all the time man People are gonna look look your name up, and they're gonna see all your damn videos and everything. I promise you. That's why they won't. That's why they don't want you exposing them. Because see, here's here's the the thing about it. This program is designed to destroy you. So even if if you you go along with them and do everything that they tell you to do, and 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 do whatever they say, and and you don't. Uh, poke the bear and all that they're still going to destroy your life they are there no there ain't no doubts about it they just don't want you to expose them for for doing that that's what they're scared of they can lie and and play these games and, and like like if you go along with them and and do what they say that they're, they're going to stop they're not going to stop that's why you might as well expose. Because either way, they're going to destroy your life. Either way. So why am I going to just sit here and let them, and just sit back and lay down and just let them do this? No. I'm going to speak too. Because these are malignant narcissists. A lot of these people are. The, they, I'm telling you. And then you get the, these people that believe them just because they have a badge or because they have some kind of authority or, or power. And they use that badge and that authority, that power uh, for the wrong reasons. They use it to their advantage. If they think cops are good, they're, they're, they're dumb. They're wrong. I will say I've only met a few good cops. Um, it's rare. Um, well, I will say at least one, because I remember when I worked at, at this gas station, uh, one of the Brentwood cops, I think he was a Hispanic guy, I'm not sure, he actually came and helped me, uh, when I called, 
on them for that gang stalking shit. Um, he actually came and helped me. When the other ones in Brentwood, the other cops, there was a couple of them that were fucking with me at night in the store. I don't know their names. If I knew their names, I would put their damn names on this damn channel. But it, it was two Brentwood cops. One of them, I think, was, was bald-headed. Oh, he was an asshole, man. He had SWAT badge on. Tall dude, bald-headed, kind of, you know, real fit. Uh, I think he was bald-headed. Shit. All I remember is that he was a big bald-headed asshole. And then the dark-headed dude, he's about my height, 6'1", somewhere around there. Kind of fit. He was a jerk-off. Uh, and I'm talking about Brentwood Police Department in Tennessee. And I don't care to blast them out. If I knew their names, I would say it on here. But they would come in the store fucking with me and I pulling, pulling their damn car up to the damn door with the camera on. And then they got their phone, cell phone out, which is connected to their car camera, where they can watch me in the store and fuck and fuck with me and shit. Like they'll watch, watch me, they'll have the camera watching my damn register where they pull up, where they where the camera on the car can see me and they'll go in in the store with their damn phone and I'll, I'll go to the back to do something and then when I come out to go to the register see if anybody needs help the Brentwood cop the asshole the tall asshole be standing in the back and go hey man hey because when people when customers come in we're told that we have to say hey hello when they walk through the door um uh, so and apparently they didn't like that. That they don't like that I'm doing my job. So they were doing it back to me, like. But the the thing is, they were just picking on me, targeting me, and picking on me. That because all the other employees did did that shit, and they didn't say say nothing to them. They were just picking on me. Um. But. But I told uh, I told the, his cop buddy that was with me. I told him what he did. I told him I was gonna sue the ass. Um, cause he said my friend, who's my friend, and I said you're on the cop buddy. And his ass looked paranoid and got up at the damn store because they know what the fuck they're doing. I'm telling you guys. People say, oh, the the police ain't in on it. The police ain't doing it. Yes, they are. Why Why are they not in on it? Why are they not doing it? They're not doing nothing about this shit. They're not taking your reports seriously. They're not filing the damn reports. They're not investigating your your reports. They gaslight you and talk to you like you're slow, dumb, and stupid whenever and, and being fake and being fake and pretending like they're helping you whenever you call them because they want to uh, because they know they're doing that shit. So. That's enough proof to show that they're doing it. Um, but anyways, but there was one cop that I did like that. When I called up there, he believed me. He probably knew about, about the shit that they do shit like, like that. He seemed like he was probably a good cop. I don't know his name. But that was about the best experience I've ever had when I've called the damn police. I, I couldn't believe it. So maybe not all of them are bad, but most of them. He may have been the only good one out of law enforcement throughout the all 50 states of America. But but then again, he was a Hispanic male, and most people of color, of different colors, tend to be not as racist as these white cops. They tend to not be as... Uh, have a lot of hate for other people like these white cops do because they don't like people. They want to abuse you and shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but at least that that's what I think. At, at least that's what I, I'm hoping because he pulled up quick as hell when I called them, man. Because it was people just terrorizing me from the damn bars and shit that know each other. And, and they're still doing it. And they know law enforcement, so they get them involved. Law enforcement don't want to do nothing about it because it's, it's people they know. You know, because it's a small town. And, and not only that, uh, it's a program that they run. Police are running watch lists and shit. 
um, with no evidence. No evidence. Can't prove it. But I still did it. Whatever. I don't even know what I did. You know, at this point, I don't even care what I did or what I'm accused of doing. I don't care. I don't care if they don't don't believe it and they go watch this damn video and then and then they try to put it back up my face like blah blah blah. Oh, you're responsible and blah. blah. I'm not responsible for nothing. Fuck you. I don't owe nobody nothing. We don't know owe nobody nothing. We're not responsible. That's gaslighting bullshit. And if they're telling people this shit and that's what makes them believe the lie, then they're stupid. That's like. That's like. Uh, telling somebody like Jeffrey Epstein, oh, you're re uh, we know you did this or, or you did that and you're responsible for turning yourself in. Nobody, who does that? Nobody does no shit like it. Um, or, and I hate, I hate to use him as an example because I don't like him no way. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure nobody does. But, I mean, that's like telling a murderer to turn themselves in. They, uh, We know you did it, but you're the one responsible. <laughs> like, they, like are, are you serious? Like, they would have done, they ass would have done been in, they done be locked up for doing some, some crazy shit or, or, or telling somebody that broke into a damn store at night. Uh, uh, we know you, you did it. Uh, you're, uh, you're responsible. You got to turn yourself in. Well, why aren't you in, why would they do that when they already investigated and know who, and know who did it, or they go and do their investigation and find find out out, out who did it, who, who lying, who's not? You, you, you see, the shit's stupid and it makes no fucking sense at all, none. And that's just gaslighting bullshit. Because somebody think just because they think something about you don't mean it's true. It's it's none of their business. It's none of nobody's business what they think. Uh, man, they can believe what they want. I don't care whether you think it's true or not. That's not my business. I don't care. But you know what I'm saying? That's not my problem. That's your problem to sit there and worry about my business. That sounds like, that sounds very stressful, like you're stressing yourself out, out over me. Why don't you get a life? You don't have dreams, goals, hopes to achieve in life. Um, instead, y'all yeah, rather see me down and not have a life. So, I mean, it don't make no sense. It's a damn good thing Elon Musk wasn't uh, gang stalked because we wouldn't have the shit that we have now because of him and other people. And you know what? I guarantee you, people like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, they wouldn't participate in this shit. And you know how I know that? Because they have dreams, they have goals in life, they have hopes. They still have thing, things to uh, be achieved because they're people. They're real people. They're, they're, they're real human beings giving back to humanity. Now, besides what people say about them and all that, you know, those are other things. But they're still doing something for the world. Y'all ain't doing nothing for the world. Y'all ain't giving back. <laughs> Y'all can think what, that this program is doing something for the world. No, it's not. You're get, they're getting their, their kids involved in it. What if one of these perpetrators go crazy and shoot one of their damn kids for harassing them? Or do something crazy. But this isn't for the community. They're not doing this shit for the community. I don't care what, what they say. If if they were, they would have done arrested and had all this evidence and all this proof and all that bullshit, bullshit man. Go fuck off. We'd be in jail by now. But I got plans. And it's plans that do not include breaking the law. Trust me. Um, and y'all don't have to break the law and flip out, harm yourself or harm others. Because we have the power within us. The greatest power anyone can have is self-control to control yourself now that's not easy it's not you know there are times where i have difficulty doing that you have to practice it every day and become more and more disciplined um and 
by by being able to do that, you take their power away from them. Um, because we don't have to do anything that they, they're trying to push us to do by getting under our skin. We don't have to do anything. Um, I don't have to flip out and go harm myself or harm somebody. I don't have to flip out and break the law. Um, I don't have to do anything. And I'm not because I choose not to. And if 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 y'all do that um what they don't realize man is what is what if they put somebody in this program and they go shoot up a damn school or a mall or a building which i'm pretty sure that's why a lot of these mass shootings are happening because people are being bullied harassed and terrorized by these programs and they're going up and doing this shit because why why else would those things happen in every one of those cases they all they all come complain about being harassed um in most of them now i wouldn't do nothing like that um i'm not saying i'm not condoning their behavior because you shouldn't do that it wasn't right for them to go do that but this shows that this this program or you know this cops program um it should teach people that if I participate in it, this this could happen. Now, God forbid that happens, but they should be able to see that because I may not do something like that. But how do they know that somebody else they might not target may not may not do something like that? That's the risk that they take. And out here trying to cause breaks and shit on the damn road. People boxing me in and trying to run me off the damn road and cause me to have a damn wreck. What if they fail and do it to somebody else, or it or it ends up being worse than what it was, and and they make me wreck and I wreck wreck into somebody that they weren't even trying to. You see what I'm saying? Or both of them get, or or all of us go. Uh, But they don't understand the consequences of it. And the problem is, and this is a good valid point that, that Richard Moore brought up on, on his channel. He said because of the fact they're, they're accusing you of these crimes and they're not arresting you or doing any, anything about it and just lying to everybody and gaslighting and saying you did this, that means that the crime is still ongoing, that this person is still committing the crime. So why would you leave somebody still committing these crimes you're uh, accusing them of? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to get them off the, the street and make your community a better, safer place? See? See what I'm saying? This shit makes no sense at all. It makes no fucking sense. Excuse my language, but it don't. Because that means that's like going around accusing somebody of, of killing somebody, okay? If this person did, did that or or you accuse them of, of, of robbing a store or robbing somebody. Um, if if they did that, then but there's nothing being happened. People just go around saying that. That means if they did do those crimes, they're still ongoing. They're still committing crimes against the community. Yet, yet the police ain't um, doing nothing about about the crime. So that shows that they do not care about the damn c community or about crimes because they're committing the damn crimes there's themselves because they don't like people. They hate other people. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much, how else to drill this shit in, into y'all's heads. Um, they want to call you a criminal, but not help and save the the community. And then they try to say that this policing program is a uh, is is protecting the community. It's it, it's keeping you from committing these crimes. No, it's not. I could leave my house right now and go and go commit a damn crime. If I'm this dangerous and and a criminal, who's to say that I won't go out and do something to one of these damn per perpetrators? That sure is uh, keeping the damn community safe. What about all these damn people that that went and shot up these damn schools? 
for being in, in this program. They didn't stop them from committing a damn crime. And there was recently a girl here in Frank, Frank, Franklin, Tennessee that got arrested for helping murdering somebody at the fucking gas station in Smyrna, ten, Tennessee. Huh. Imagine that. In the same city I live in. But yet, I'm the one on the damn watch list. That That is something, ain't it? That is something. Obviously, they failed to protect their community and their city and protect other communities and cities from their people in their own town, city, and com community. How about them apples? Hmm. See how much this, this program works? So why wouldn't this this person on, on a program on a program because they've had past records and shit. So, but they want a, on a watch list. You see what I'm saying? It's because they're just target. This program is just a target. Fuck with, screw around, and harass people that they don't want because you piss them off. They have some kind of authority and power and they abuse it. That's that's what this is. I don't know how else to explain this. So. That means that whatever crimes I'm committing, they're ongoing. And if I'm a danger to the community, then then why haven't they took action? Because I could go do something right now. I mean, I'm not, but I could. And it's not just me. It's anybody else in, in this program. Who's to say that somebody else wouldn't? So, it don't make no sense. But that, that's what I'm trying to, to tell you, I mean, about this... The, 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 this program, they don't care about you. They just want to screw with you. That's what this is. Um, and they and they pick people to participate in, like family, friends, neighbors, because what they go after is people they think don't have a sense of self. They have low self-esteem or they seek validation and approval. And I'm not judging the, these people, but some people, you can just tell they... The ones that are easier to believe law enforcement be, are because they're they're authority figures. Because people that don't have a sense of self that like that that like to be abused or that like to um because I've taken a twelve step program, children of alcoholics program, and and I've taken uh, programs similar, um and I learned all, all about that. Because I, I had I had similar issues, that's how I'm able to think for my myself and see otherwise. And I th honestly think that's another part of why they're they're targeting me. Because I went to this program, and when you go go, go through these programs, you got to tell them things about family. And I already got family members spying on me and listening to everything I do. But if I want to go to therapy and talk about things in privacy, I have that right. That 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 is my right. I don't care who you are or what you've done. It does not give you the right to invade somebody's privacy and break, break, break the law. It don't matter whether you, it don't matter who you are or what you've done. And th they probably didn't like the shit that they heard, so they won't get mad and, and get vengeance. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, just because I chose to heal from abuse and to find more of myself, doesn't give you the right to, to to take it out on me and try to discredit me for exposing you when when that wasn't even my damn intention. I just want to help and trying to get to the bottom of it. So that's your fault for, for spying on people. That's not my problem. That's your problem. Um, I can't help you're a psychopath. We want to smear every, everybody around town, but but uh, these people, man, they don't care about you, man. They think the people that are participating in it, they think that they're stupid and they're dumb and they're naive and they can take advantage of them because I guarantee you they wouldn't have nothing to do with these people if they never part if, if they didn't help them. They probably. 
they would probably target them back for not participating just just because you would piss them off and like oh okay well I got I'll get your ass back and that's how people are that's why some people target people because they're that they're that way if they don't get their way they will they will lie make up rumors do everything they can to destroy you and they pick on people that they they know they don't have a sense of self or self esteem that they can manipulate and and they'll go along with it because because they know who's a people pleaser who's a nice guy or a nice girl or a girl that people that that is a people pleaser they they trust me they they're smart they pick people they pick you off of your vulnerabilities and off of your off of your faults that they know they can take advantage of and and your your vulnerabilities and your weak sides but anyway I'm I'm gonna wrap this up I hope this video has helped do something for somebody because that's the only reason why I'm doing it.